Hey everyone, it's Mr. Drillicious here and welcome to another quick stream tip video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add closed captionings to your stream by using the native Twitch closed captioning feature. Now, if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get a notification anytime I put up a new video on the channel. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro so I can show you how it's done. Now for this video, we're going to be using a plugin called OBS Captioner, which you can download on GitHub or on the OBS website. Links to both are in the description down below. Also, one thing to note is this only works with regular OBS Studio. It doesn't work with Streamlabs OBS. So I suggest maybe just changing to regular OBS. Now you may have seen some streamers also use captioning on their streams, but they don't use the native Twitch feature, but they use either an extension which will overlay the captions over your player window, or they have a tool which will add the captions to their stream. However, the method that we're going to use today is natively built into Twitch, and therefore viewers can actively turn it on or off within the Twitch player. So go to the site that I linked, download the plugin and unpack the zip files into your OBS folder. If you don't know how to install plugins, I've made a video about that too, so you can click the little pop-up that you can see over there in the right corner of your screen. After installing the plugin, you can go to OBS and you will find a new option under the tools menu called cloud closed captioner click that and you will see the captioning preview now the first thing that we want to do here is we actually want to enable the closed captioning feature by clicking the checkbox in the top left corner after that we can go ahead into the settings menu with the button in the top right to change a few settings the first thing that we want to set here is the captioning source which usually is going to be your microphone source also you want to make sure that the captioning is enabled when the caption source is being broadcast this way you will only get captions on your stream when your mic is actively broadcasting and unmuted below that you can set the language that you are broadcasting in. Make sure that this is the language that you actually speak on your stream, even if this differs from the language that you have set in your Twitch stream settings. The reason for this is this plugin uses Google speech recognition and therefore needs to know what language you are speaking in in order to actually translate your spoken words into text. Here you can also decide to turn a profanity filter on or off and you can decide whether or not you want to have the captions being shown up only on your stream, on your local recordings or both. Lastly, I recommend to set the lines to a maximum of three because if you go higher, Twitch sometimes has trouble and glitches out when you have a larger number of lines showing on your stream and that's it you can save your settings and then you're back in the preview window and there you can actually check to see whether or not everything works the way that it should make sure that your mic is unmuted though now even though this was a pretty simple tip i also have a pro tip for you to make things even easier now one thing that i can recommend doing is adding a dock to your obs window so you can check whether or not the captioning are actually working and whether or not they're actually showing more or less what you are saying on stream now in order to do this you can go to the view menu in obs Go to the docs window and there you can check the captions option which will enable a small preview in your OBS window. That way you can always keep an eye on your captions when you're streaming, again to check whether or not things are actually more or less accurate with what you are saying. And sometimes it can be quite funny to see the mistakes that the captioner makes. Both to you and of course to your audience if they pick it up before you. And that's it, that's how you can add native captions to your Twitch stream with OBS and a plugin called the OBS Captioner. Now if this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you get a notification anytime a new video is being put up. And if you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos that I put up, I stream every Monday, Tuesday and Friday over on Twitch, which you can find the links in the description down below. Or if you want, you can send me a message on my Twitter or you can join my Discord channel and ask me any questions that you may have over there. For now though, all that is left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Drill Delicious. You are all very delicious as well. Take care, happy streaming and I will see you next time. I want to take a picture of the car we just destroyed because I think it might be an achievement and I always like to collect all achievements so I'm gonna try and do that now wait nothing crap I thought I thought it would be a good one